Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and I saw people talking about this on Twitter So I was like, ooh, I'll, I'll take a look at this. I like fan films uh, Sometimes uh, this is the full trailer for spider-man Lotus, which is a fan film based on spider-man and uh, I saw some people talk about this positively and I was like, oh, I'll check it out uh, Link in the description if you want to check it out yourself, of course uh, when it comes to like fan-made stuff and other YouTube channel stuff uh, I usually put a link in the description if it's a trailer for a movie or a game from a big publisher or something Usually I don't give a shit. You know, you can look it up yourself or you've already seen it most likely so it doesn't really matter But when it comes to smaller things like this, I always like to leave a, a link, you know um, Unless it's like the meme reactions those I always link just because I don't know just in case people want to watch them before watching it with me so that's one, you know, laugh at laugh yourself and then go, ooh, I want to see him laugh at this or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Spider-Man Lotus, uh, three and a half minute long trailer. So, and it's 4K, baby. Let's go. I like the suit, actually. It's like a, almost a combination of, I want to say it's almost a combination of all three live action suits we've had so far. Uh, we've had the eyes that look like the Tom Holland one. Uh, you got the, the what is it called? Embe like the, what do you call it? Embezzled? Is that the one where it's like kind of like, coming out you know like this the webs are coming out of the suit does that make sense you know like you can feel it it's like a texture i don't know um and then just like there's something about it also that reminds me of the main spider-man suit so let's take a look spider-man Spider oh okay battle weary Remind me of the end of Spider-Man One. He's all messed up fighting a Green Goblin. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Okay. All right, turn this up. Is this after Gwen Stacy died? Yeah. I think this is a good buy too. I give it more as a, a checking in too. Let's go. So here I am. It's uh, just checking in to say hi. Is this Spider Man? Lost give slow motion, that's true. Give him something to believe in. We all lost something. But I think we gained something too. I think this music is pretty good. Always be Spider Man. Because I want to. But because I have to. Oh, okay. Okay, that actually didn't look bad at all for fan films. Whoa, it is. All right. Way more dramatic trailer than I was expecting, honestly. But, uh,. Spider-Man. Spider oh. So it's the Hobgoblin. 
I'm gonna assume. I never read the comic for when Gwen died, but uh Alright. Spider Young Man. Looks good. Alright. That looks really solid actually. Um I will say one complaint I have with the trailer is that it, there's a lot of just like kind of slow scenes, you know. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of that most likely in the fan film. It's just gonna be a, not not that that's a problem. I mean, like slow is in like literally slow. It's just like people like like it's a lot, there's a lot of slow motion. I feel like this could have been trimmed down to a two and a half minute trailer. But uh, besides that, I think it looks really good. That that one shot is like CG was really good. I like the costume. I like that it just looks like a costume too. Because that's the one thing I will say is that Spider Man. They always do it in the beginning of these movies where they have like a kind of cheap looking costume and, and you could t you could see where it's like wrinkling and stuff. And it never it never makes sense when like besides maybe the MCU I guess it makes sense there cuz Iron Man made him his suit. But um it never made sense in the other two when he just like gets an awesome suit out of nowhere. Like especially especially the Sam Raimi one. Well, no, actually both of them. Both of them, the Sam Raimi and the Amazing Spider-Man ones. Both of them didn't make any sense. Sam Raimi one I actually could forgive more so because the tone is so corny that it's just like all right in a in a good way in a really good way um corny is not negative i hate when people think corny is a negative uh description of anything because most of the time for me corny is good um and uh i guess uh i guess you could use a different term i guess just what would you use? what would you say not not corny what else like goofy no that, yeah, people think that's negative too feels like a comic book there you go which some people will immediately say, wait, you said goofy and corny and then you said comic book? You think all comic books are goofy and corny? You can't win on the internet, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna cut my losses here. Um, no, no one usually gives me shit for stuff like this anyway. But uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a nice little trailer. I actually liked that. I, I did. I was surprised by how emotional it was. Very, very fixated on post-death of Gwen Stacy, which is actually a good idea um, for a movie because... I'm sure if it ever happened again in movies, because of course it happened in Amazing Spider-Man 2, and and there was even a, the kid that in Amazing Spider-Man 2 that was like fighting the Rhino at one point, and then he shows up at the end. That was like the best part of Amazing Spider-Man 2 was the ending. I thought at least like, oh, that's nice. Um, everything else was goofy and corny and and schlocky to a point of fault at times, but other times it was pretty funny. Like Amazing Spider-Man 2, dude. Electro fixes the gap in his teeth with the electric powers. Why did he even have the gap to begin with? Like it was, it was like it was like the writers like wrote themselves in a hole. Isn't the writer? Is isn't the same guy that's writing um uh uh the new Picard series and shit? It's a guy that does all Star Trek stuff too. Um, <laughs> yikes. Uh, but like it, like they wrote it themselves in a hole. It was just like oh. Uh, we have the gap teeth but we don't want him to have the gap teeth the entire time so screw it uh, when he gets his electric powers he fixes the gap why have the gap to begin with <laughs> even if the character I, i'm not too sure if in the comics he had the gap in his teeth but who gives a fuck you think people are gonna be that upset if he doesn't have the gap in his teeth like just don't have him have a gap in it. jamie fox doesn't have a gap in his teeth at least i don't think so does he no i don't think he does um so what like and if he does, then why don't you just make it so Electro had the gap in his teeth? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, I'm trying to like envision Jamie Foxx right now. I can't for some reason. Why can't I? I've seen him in so many movies. I like Jamie Foxx. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, that was a good trailer. So, uh, shout outs to the creator, uh, J, uh, G, I read the wrong letter immediately. GJ Konob. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, which most likely I did. Anyway, that's it. Bye.